that was this week's number one single, Light Switch by Look Out for Kev. That one's available on iTunes. Next up, we've got the news with Danny. We've just had reports of a strange flu. Oh, God, this is going to be bad. I don't think so. It could be fun. Oh, sure. I can't believe this. This coach is making me sick. Oh, my God. But why Craig Leash? It's a strange little village. Oi! That's one of my most favorite places on the island. And it's a good place to shoot a film. Whatever. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. to report on the World Championships Victoria Sponge Cake Eating Contest 2010. At 2 o'clock, the contestants will gather here where the competition will be judged by the Honourable David Cretney, MHK. I am Hannah Paris. I'm Renan Williams. And we are reporting here for your news media company. Oscar. Yep. Danny. Hi. Cameron. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Charlie. Yep. Thank you, all present and correct. Marma, I found Jared as Grenade. Hello, welcome to Craig Neat. Please follow me. Science on set. Is camera ready? Yeah, camera's ready. Is Sam ready? Yeah. Okay, and action. This development is going to bring wonders to this village. It's going to bring visitors and money, and it's going to completely change the landscape. You're going to be really rich. Hey. That sounds great, but what are you going to do to my farm? Forget your farm. You'll get ten times more money from this development than you'll ever get from your farm. You'll forget your farm. It's a thing of the past. But it's my family in Hartons. And cut. We are here in Craig Niche to interview film school who are making a film. So what film are you making today? M we're making a film called Last Harvest. It is about land being sold off by development. What gave you inspiration to make this film? We saw a farmer working in the fields and wondered what his life would be like. Why did you come to Cragniche to film it? We thought it was the perfect location for our storyline. And what do you think the competition would be like this year? Completely, hands down, us winning, just us, only us, we win, no matter what. Everything is hands down, we've won. Everything says we've won. Thank you. This is Rhiannon Williams. This is Hannah Paris. And we are reporting for your news. Am I ready? Yep. Yeah. Action. Wow, look at those people coming to our town over there. Alright, it looks so stupid. I don't get that the clothes are dirty. Alright, those town folks are such idiots. And cut. Nah. I said it was a surprise. Well, this is not a surprise, this is torture. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Well, I do. Cut.
luckily him press record, you've seen enough straw houses for now. Thank you, Honourable David Cretney, MHK. That wouldn't happen in South Douglas. Care to make a comment, sir? Good evening and welcome to Your News. I'm Rhiannon Williams and I'm Hannah Paris. Your News were in the village of Craigneesh today to bring you reports from the world famous Victoria Sponge Cake Eating Contest and the 2010 film school shoot of their film competition entry, Last Harvest. Let's go now to our exclusive coverage of the contest. At two o'clock, the contestants will gather here where the competition will be judged by the Honourable David Cretney, MHK. The favourite to win is Mrs. Paris three times champion and the person to beat today. In tonight's main story, the Isle of Man Film School's entry into the Filmmaker of Man competition and the lives of your news media crew were in jeopardy today as the cast of Last Harvest turned into zombies. Fortunately, scientists have discovered the cause of the recent zombie outbreak in Craigneesh, a previously undiscovered disease, locked for air virus, commonly known as locked in flu, was carried by a sheep in the village named Barbara. It was then transferred to the cakes in the nearby contest. One of these cakes was eaten by the film school children, causing the zombie-like symptoms. Teachers of the pupils came under attack from the zombie children in this terrifying ordeal. Luckily, the Honourable David Cretney, MHK, who was in the town to judge the cake contest, arrived just in time to save the day. In a show of fearlessness and bravery, armed with three poodles and a machine gun, Mr Cretney heroically defeated the living dead. In breaking news, in light of his superhero talent, the Honourable David Cretney, MHK, has tonight signed a multi-million pound contract starring 12 Hollywood action blockbusters. Titles include The Lord of the Keys, North by Douglas South and The Expendables. He declined to comment on this development. That's all for tonight. Join us tomorrow where we will be bringing your news from your news.